Hey guys, this is Tim from DimDrive.com with a quick video on how to set up World of Warcraft using DimDrive. And this video is going to cover if you have uh, smaller amounts of RAM, such as 8 gigs, 12 gigs on up. So basically, you're on a run DimDrive, and <clears throat> the program will auto log you in. And what you want to do next is set up World of Warcraft. Here I have my WoW installation folder. I multi-box, I have multiple installations of WoW, so we're gonna do my Druid Alt folder. We're gonna drag it right into the other programs area. Now you'll notice it's roughly 26 gigs in size, which is very large. Let's say that I have eight gigs of RAM. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is figure out how much RAM we have for dim drive. If you open up your task manager, you'll be able to see how much RAM your OS takes. We're gonna say, for example, OS equals 2.5 G of RAM. And then you're gonna look at how much World of Warcraft itself will take. We're gonna say WoW uses 1.5 G of RAM. And then that leaves you with, let's see, four gigs of RAM for dim drive. Two plus five plus 1.5 equals four. And then four minus four, Four, or sorry, eight minus four is four. So if you have eight gig total minus four GB for OS plus WoW equals, and then four gigs for dim drive. So we're gonna set this up. We're gonna do four gigs right here. Now we've dragged this in there. So, and again, this is a setup for eight gigs of RAM. So we're gonna click the little wrench button here. We're gonna click less RAM. We're gonna click that option right here, less RAM enabled. We're gonna click configure and now we're gonna click on the most important files that you're gonna to wanna to have for dim drive. So I would say enable your WTF and your interface folder. And you can see 32 megs and about two and a half megs. Go into your data folder from there and we're gonna first wanna look at what you're actually doing in World of Warcraft. Let's just say you're raiding, okay? So if you're just doing end game mop raids, you're gonna to wanna to configure the expansion 4.mpq. If you're leveling up a new character, you're, you're gonna to wanna to use the expansion 3, 1, or 2, or so on. And then what we want to do is pick the files from there that are going to fit roughly about four gigs of RAM. So that's going to leave us with about two and a half gigs of RAM. So from two and a half gigs, let's take a look at um, let's take a look at our item texture. There's also a models.mpq and a generic texture.mpq. There's a sound.mpq. There's all these different files right here. So let's enable model.mpq and we're gonna do item textures. That is about 2.5 with about that, that's about 3.2. So then we'll hit submit, 3.7. Now what dim drive does is it, it takes the size of the actual um, files that you selected and it's reserved a little bit of extra space. And that's because WoW sometimes does on the, on the fly live patching, this kind of helps out with giving the files a little bit of room to grow when you uh, patch them. And then you're gonna just hit close, then you wanna want to hit this to on, then you're going to uh, specify your drive letter. We've got Y and then just click this. Now what's going to happen is dim drive is going to create a RAM drive and it's going to take those files that you've selected and it's going to put them inside the RAM drive. So when World of Warcraft loads and when it has to access those files back and forth and back and forth, and it's going to be extraordinarily fast. So we can verify that by clicking on the open drive and you'll notice here that we have a new drive. It's our Y drive. Notice Y drive and we've got a setup for World of Warcraft. Notice we have the interface add-ons and then all of our add-ons. And add-ons are very important because add-ons result in multiple uh, accesses to all these different files. And that causes a lot of, when you have a lot of simultaneous, uh, simultaneous accesses, that causes, uh, for example, a traditional platter-based hard drive to significantly slow down. So having your add-on folder is really nice. It's also really nice when you have your add-on and your WTF for doing things like uh, auctioneer or auction scanning where you're aggressively writing to a database. And sometimes things like recount and other um, like raid uh, fight um, logging and statistics so you can later analyze you know, all the different weapons and attacks and so on. Things that have aggressive data writing. Um, in, in, <clears throat> in addition, we set up the expansion, the mop, uh, expansion item texture and model.mpqs. So now we can double check that this actually works um, correctly by going into our um, folder so this is the one that we set up. And we're gonna take a look at uh, the expansion 4.mpq. If we click on the data and we scroll down just a little bit, you'll notice expansion 4.mpq has a little link. Now, when you click on this and look at the properties of it, it'll show you that it's actually linking 
to your dim drive, which is your Y drive. Again, if you go over to here, you'll notice it says Y. And we can verify it by your World of Warcraft install folder actually says Y drive. And when we go to the Y drive, we can actually see the expansion for that MPQ. So now when WoW loads up and it does anything with any of these three files or any of the gazillion uh, add-on files that you have, it's going to load them from the RAM drive. So you ask, how do I run WoW now? Well, you run WoW no, no differently than you'd run it normally. So whether you have a shortcut on your desktop or whether you run it directly from the launcher or whether you run it directly from the folder, it's all going to access your RAM drive for those files that you selected. So we're just gonna launch WoW right here and we're gonna notice it starts up just normal. Um, you can hear the music, we could log in and you know do whatever. And that's basically how you set it up. Now, uh, Dim Drive will automatically synchronize your files. So let's say you log into the game. Here, let's let's do this for a moment. We're gonna run the WoW. We're going to type in uh, some secrets here. Um, we're gonna just miscellaneous log into a character of mine. It is my, uh, let's log into, yeah, let's log into my Warlock. This is my third account, I believe. I actually have 10 different World of Warcraft accounts. So I put my entire WoW directory on my RAM drive. It speeds up multi-boxing like you have no idea. So we've logged in, we've got some friend requests, whatever, we're gonna close the game. And now what you'll see here is in the file sync win window, when you move your mouse over it, notice that it says file sync and it lists a bunch of files, my xperlua file, my xloot, it lists my uh, config.wtfs, which are your World of Warcraft, your, your basic account configuration files. You notice all these different files show up in the file sync. Now what that means, this is a very important note, what that means is when you logged into WoW and when you closed it, WoW updated some of your files on your RAM drive. Now a normal RAM drive basically would say that if your RAM drive has updated, when you turn your computer off, you'll lose your files because it exists in RAM and RAM gets cleared when you power off your computer. But Dim Drive doesn't do that. Dim Drive will write that file in real time. You don't have to do anything, just let it do its job. It'll write that file back to your hard drive. So it says here that xperl.lua was just recently updated and we're gonna verify that this worked correctly by going into this uh, directory here. So we're gonna go into WTF. Uh, let's see here. This one, what else did it say? Uh, save variables, xperl dot, whatever it was. So let's just make it alphabetical order. Right here, 1018. So it says that this file just updated and you can verify by probably the YouTube update, um, upload date, but October 18. Now that's in our actual RAM drive. So if we double check this, it says Y. Remember our Y drive is our RAM drive. So what we wanna do is make sure that this is actually synchronized with our normal World of Warcraft installation, the one on our normal hard drive. So we're gonna go into the, let's actually turn off dim drive so we can make sure that it's synced perfectly. We're gonna turn off dim drive and it's gonna make sure everything is synced. So it's off right now. We're gonna go into the WTF folder. Remember October 18, account number three, save variables, and then it was xperl something. Bam, right there. So we notice right here, October 18, which is about two minutes ago, this file got updated. And again, we're not on the RAM drive, we're on my S drive right here. So we've just demonstrated how uh, Dim Drive synchronizes files real time, how you can play World of Warcraft with the minimal amount of files configured for how much RAM you have. Our example, you have eight gigs of RAM. Let's say you had more RAM. Uh, what we're gonna do is just click on configure. Let's say you upgrade your RAM or whatever, you have more RAM. You're gonna go in here and you're gonna select more of the files. The important files basically are the expansion pack that you're in, your texture.mpq and world.mpq are two very important files, um, and then your model.mpq, and then if you scroll down a little bit, your item texture and misc.mpq are also very important. Um, from there, your, these files are a little bit less important. And by important, I mean that how often are they actually hit by your graphics card and your CPU? Like how often are, uh, is data pulled out of these files? So we're gonna submit this, we're gonna hit close. Now, uh, if we clicked on the wrench again, we notice it's up to 10.3 gigs in size. So we're gonna make this say, let's say 12. So with our example here, um, new example is for, let's say 16 gig. So a new example would say we have 12 gigs for our RAM drive. Actually, a new example could probably be closer to 14 gigs, but we have 12 gigs for our RAM drive. And then again, our OS has 2.5 and our uh, WoW has you know 
So there's our example right there. Now, most World of Warcraft probably uh, doesn't use 1.5 gigs of RAM. If you're multi-boxing, you can get each WoW down to probably five or 600 megs as well. But anyway, that's a really good example for how everything is set up. And it's really, the, the power here is for you to decide what files you wanna go faster. So if you have less than eight gigs of RAM, then feel free to only set up your WTF and your interface folder, and then go into your data folder and do the ones that fit the amount of RAM that you have. So if you have less than eight gigs of RAM, you'd probably wanna do uh, maybe just texture.mpq or just model.mpq. If you did just model.mpq, you could probably pull this off with uh, I'd say four or five gigs of RAM instead of eight. So anyway, I hope this video helps you guys out. If you have any questions, please go to dimdrive.com and click on the forum link and just ask whatever question you have in the uh, Dim Drive forums. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.